American politics has become very disorienting. How did we get here? What happened to the Republican Party of Ronald Reagan, of Dwight Eisenhower? How did it become the party of Donald Trump? And what does that mean for America's future? There's a simple truth about the Republican Party, and it's this. There are no issues. There are no policies. It is an organized conspiracy to gain and to hold political power. And we know from the last election after January 6th that should the Republicans, should Donald Trump get their way back into the Oval Office, they don't intend to relinquish power again, ever. On January 6, 2021, the peaceful transition of power ended in this country. George Washington began the tradition in 1797, and it helped through assassination, through World War, through Great Depression, all the way until January 6, 2021, when the President of the United States and the most senior elected members of the Republican Party collectively betrayed their oaths and incited an insurrection against the government that they took an oath to lead. The American media often asks Republican candidates about moving on from Trump. They talk about Trump as if he is somebody that they disagree with, as opposed to somebody that they all followed and betrayed their oaths and violated every principle that they had previously articulated to serve. What Donald Trump represents is national decay. And he represents specifically in the Republican Party the hollowness of a political party that abdicated all of its positions on issues, gave away its integrity for the purposes of holding power. In 2009, when Barack Obama was elected president of the United States, the Democratic Party held control of the Congress and the White House. Republicans were completely out of power and power shifted because nature abhors a vacuum. The locus of the Republican Party became Sixth Avenue in New York City. Roger Ailes and Fox News became the Republican Party. And the politicians, the elected members of Congress and the United States Senate, to a man, to a woman, would do nothing. Fox News became America's opposition party during the Obama years. What Republican voters believed, more than anything else, was that Barack Obama succeeded, that he did exactly what he said he would do, that he changed America, that he transformed it. But Republican voters believed that he didn't do it alone. They believed he did it with help from a collaborationist, complicit Republican Congress. And Republican voters took that out on the Republican candidates like Jeb Bush and Chris Christie and all of the Republicans who held office and governed during those years. During the 2016 primary, there was a famous incident. Donald Trump attacked the star of Fox News. It's hard to remember way back then, but Megyn Kelly was an incandescent star at Fox. The network was substantially built around her. And Donald Trump attacked her. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. All sorts of ridiculous questions. And, you know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes, uh, blood coming out of her wherever. And then Roger Ailes said, enough with Trump. The line was drawn. And there's a simple fact about about modern American politics in the Republican Party. There was no Republican who would cross Roger Ailes until Trump did. And when Trump took on Ailes, Trump won. American political reporters love to ask the Republican candidates about Trump, yet none of them ever give an honest answer. On the record, they say how much they admire him. And off the record, they roll their eyes say he's crazy, and it's time to move on. But what exactly is the difference between those candidates and Donald Trump? Because the simple truth is, there are no positions in the Republican Party. There are no principles. 
Donald Trump burned them all to the ground. And that's the nature of a cult of personality. The party is measured not by ideas, not by vision, but around obedience of individuals to the leader of the movement, Trump. And that's the problem inside the Republican Party. It speaks to the deepness and to the depth of the rot. So when Ron DeSantis puts 100 migrants onto an airplane and flies them to Washington, D.C., unloads them on a freezing, chilly night on the edge of Christmas in front of the vice president's residence, he is the same as Trump. Donald Trump's greatest legacy is that he's turned an entire political party, Abraham Lincoln, Dwight Eisenhower, and Ronald Reagan's party into the party of Trump. What's the difference between Trump and Ron DeSantis, Trump and Nikki Haley? Well, the simple fact is there is no difference. They're the same person. It's a party of book banners. It's a party of liars. It's a party of dividers. It is a party of politicians who lack conviction, who lack principle, and to a person have betrayed their oaths of office putting their ambition ahead of the American people. And in doing so, they betrayed 247 years of American sacrifice, of American striving to make tomorrow a little bit better than today. And in the end, what they did was break faith with the greatest tradition in this country, which is the commitment of each generation to leave it a little bit better for the next. That's what Donald Trump broke. He made American politics about him, and it's still about him.